Hello YouTube! So in the first video I showed you how to add a Raspberry Pi inside of this NES Mini clone and in the second video I showed you how to add the working buttons for it and in this video I will show you how to add the USB connectors in a couple of ways. Enjoy the video, please subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, I really enjoy it. Thank you very much. Okay, for your you viewers, I did this in a couple of ways. I will show you both. Um, this one is actually my actually actually my favorite one, uh, but I will start off with this one. So, what you need for doing this mod is a couple of uh, male USB, a couple of female USB with the uh, the casing, and uh, some signal wire. And that's it and glue of course and tools but uh, this time I will just show you how to do it and tell you how to do it I guess okay so here's the inside of the this pie with the USB ports uh, and I just took uh, the I just cut the the original connectors off from the board with the plier and then I took a saw or a knife and just took the front part of the connector off and then let me just remove this then just I took uh, the U female USB uh, with one part of the casing you just need to trim a little bit of the, the, the outer piece of the casing uh, casing here and then you will be able to fit it inside of the um, original uh, port uh, casing I hope that makes sense so this is uh, the part that is inserted into the inserts here so that will make this um, port stay in place um, I just used a lot of glue it turns out it's messy as always when you glue with a uh, epoxy uh, you I probably need to add more to make this really stable and then I just need to uh, like make an extension cable here for the USB uh, and by the way you need to fold this uh, part back or cut this, this part off in order for it to fit inside in the lower part here otherwise it, it will not uh, fit all the way in you won't be able to close it with a top casing so just cut this off um, then you probably would be fine just with a uh, gluing and then inserting it and just cut the, the back piece of the casing off just make it uh, as long as so it fits against the board this is a perfect fit for this one uh, it just when I'm gonna when I'm insert a, a USB this will uh, press against the back of this board and uh, and also when when I put it out when the casing is on this is on in the front it will uh, be pretty solid I think also this turns turned out okay I think uh, if you really want a USB port on the, uh, on the outside of your uh, NES this is quite okay you could just buy uh, already made uh, extension cable there are uh, short extension cables uh, 20 centimeters with a, you need to have a, a angle on the USB here and then 20 centimeter you should probably just snap this board and you could glue it down in the bottom of this case that would be also a way to do it I guess so that that's okay I guess so my but it's not my favorite let me show you my favorite 
Okay, so this is the second one, uh, and this was actually the way I intend to do it all the way. Uh, I just wanted to try out to make external USB ports, uh, but this is a nice mod, I think, at least what I think. So for this mod, you need the uh, same things as you do for the other one, like outer, case, outer casing for the mini for the female USB. Uh, mail for the connection inside and a few uh, signal wires and this one is actually already done so this is uh, connected uh, so be aware if you're gonna do this mod and you uh, connected the buttons as I did before I think I'm not sure but I wouldn't uh, try uh, you need to disconnect the, the ground and the, 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 the power cable for the LED otherwise I think you'll burn the GPIO when you uh, because what I did is I, I routed the USB here and added the power where this power used to be so the 5 volts from the USB is added to this connector over here and then I just routed the other signal wires so the reason I did this and I could show you in a picture or something uh, where to add all the connectors I'll tell you just really quick so if if this is we call look at this from the front okay and this is uh, pin number one so at pin number one, I added the uh, five volts uh, power, and then pin number three, I added just the the signal cable next to the power on the USB, and then there's the other signal cable, uh, data in and data out, I think, and then and next to that is uh, the ground. So the ground is uh, at port eleven. Did I tell you what port uh, the green one is? It's in. Uh, 11, 9, <laughs> 11, 10, 9, 8, at port 8. Uh, you could all keep the signal wire for the buttons, they will still work. But now, when you press the, the power, the LED will turn on, and that will also turn on the USB port. So if you turn off the, the, the LED, the uh, USB port will also turn off. So, so what I did here, I have to know. I need to show you. I took the original cable from the, the controller, just cut it off, uh, and then added the female connector in the end. So this way, I get an extension cable. I kept one and a half meter. Uh, so when I use this port now and have the LED on, I got a USB uh, with an extension cable. And I think that's it, that's a better way to do it. But actually, I, 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 I don't even see why you should add external ports at all. Because uh, I added the magnets here on this uh, case. So I don't need to screw it and just put the case on with the magnets it's all good and if you want to add a USB just pop the case off and add whatever you want maybe a SNES controller to a USB port you could just keep the case off or put it like that I think that's that would be fine with me I will use uh, external uh, uh, controllers anyway most of the time all of the time maybe but I guess it's still nice to have a uh, be able to, to to connect a USB without the, uh, to remove the casing and by the way also of course you could do the the same thing to the to the other port here if you wanted to add uh, an extra here you could have the both uh, USB ports on the front but I'm just gonna use this one that's more than enough for me. 
Hope you enjoyed the videos uh, and uh, don't throw anything away. There's one more video coming up with the internals and the controller, so don't throw it in the garbage. Uh, please subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. Take care, bye bye.